Have your turret read the Dale Jackson way? Hello Dale, you're looking very glamorous today. Thank you for that. Hello uh, Chris and hello everybody uh, that's clicked onto the videos. I'm back again and I'm going to do some short videos for each sign of the zodiac with the, Jackson, the Dale Jackson way of doing the tarot cards. And then when you want to get a reading for yourself there'll be the details how you can get one. But there is an interest in the way that I do these things and so today I'm going to start with the earth sign since we're in the sign of Virgo. And I thought I would group all the signs together according to their elements. So I'm going to put the earth signs together and do videos for the earth signs. So that's Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. And although they're all in the element of earth, there is a lot of difference between each of the signs. And when I get my cards out, I will show you and we'll make some aspects and show you how it works. And then if you're a Taurian or a Virgo or a Capricorn and you feel very interested in having a reading, there are details on how to get one. So I'm going to start by uh, saying, well, I'll start with Taurus because that's in the order of the zodiac. Taurus is the first of the earth signs in the zodiac and that's between the 21st of April and the 21st of May. Taurus is the bull. I'm a Taurian, Chris. Uh, short neck. <laughs> they say short neck and quite a big build and a lot of Taurians will probably have a problem with their weight. So uh, watch what you eat because we like good food and drink and comforts and home comforts. Uh, it's ruled by the planet Venus and Venus is goddess of love and beauty so we also like possessions and beautiful things and have also uh, craft skills and like to make things and often make money from the skills that we have and uh, we like fashion, we like clothes, we like things that have style. So Taurus have a lot going for them in the creative world and the creative fields. The bull, Taurus, is in the meadow contemplating the daisies and has a lot of patience. So uh, if you know a Taurian, they're patient people. And if there's a Taurian in your family, you will know that they can be very stubborn. I just wanted to mention this whilst I'm on about Taurus because it rules the throat, the voice and also uh, the earth gardening and uh, the fields and the farming and the nature and um, so the p uh, people to do with Taurus birthdays can accomplish things and as I'm a Taurian that's a little gardening medal that I won when I was a teenager in the flower shows locally merit for horticulture and um, this is a good thing for Taurians, horticulture. And this is the time of the year when you're uh, getting your harvest in or getting your vegetables in from the allotments and so on and thinking about what's going to happen in spring or depending on which hemisphere of the world you're in, in the autumn time, preparing your plants and the ground for then. This other little medal was for uh, speech for public speaking and um, elocution or diction and so on. I think I've lapsed over the years, but that's a bronze medal. Uh, so I've got a, a kind of silver and a bronze, a bit like Tom Daly the diver, no gold yet. Uh, but those two things, uh, the voice, the throat, which is a uh, Taurus area, and the earth, the gardening and the production of the soil and things to do with nature and beauty. So those are the things for Taurus and I'm going to see what's going to happen on the cards now. So if you were a Taurian and uh, you wanted to have a card reading, my instructions are to you that you send me 12 numbers between 1 and 32. I will then count the cards according to the numbers that you have sent me and your birth date, which I will have a look on the astrology uh, ephemeris to see where the planets are on the day that you're born and see what your elements are. When I've got that information, your name, address and gender, I can then make a spread for you choosing your cards. So we turn up 12 cards. And this is close to the Crowley deck. This is the Crowley deck, it's the Thoth deck. And although I'm not a Crowley purist, I do this the Dale Jackson way. Uh, I make my own associations and you won't find my methods in any books. You might find some uh, basic fundamental understanding of, the, of what I'm saying in, other, in books on the tarot. But this way I make my own associations. So now I've got a line up for uh, Taurus 
so say you're a Tory and, and you you sent your numbers in and then I'm looking at what's turned up for you I will then explain and write every card out uh, in longhand and then eventually the whole reading 12 cards will be type, typed up and emailed back to you unless you particularly want a document and you want it posting in which case you need to send me your address so here's a Taurus set of cards uh, presuming with a Tory in and what I've got here this card the Empress card is a wonderful card for Taurians to get in a spread. This is Venus or the Empress, Mother Earth, the Nurturer. It's a feminine card and you can see the green and the flowers coming up and the lovely patient picture and the, and the mothering and, the, and the, sibling, the children or the siblings and all sorts of feminine symbols, the moon and so on. So I would look for that immediately on a Taurian reading and then I would look for what else is associating with that. So I'd go on colours. So we've got the we've got the Hermit card, which is another Earth card, and this one would come under Capricorn in association, a Saturn, which we can see kind of uh, on the bottom of the card here. But this refers to the past, looking back at the past, time, learning lessons and so on from the past. And there'll be aspects around the card that will tell me what it is I'm talking to you about when you uh, send me in your numbers. This card also has green on it and it has all the elements on it. It has earth, fire, air, water, the moon and so on. So I will see what the associations are around each card and how that will affect you um, in the process of the year ahead. Now in a general sense, because I'm talking generally to all Taurians, this card reading is quite broad and uh, it takes in a lot of information. But it also shows me on the card that this year Taurians in the next 12 months can expect to do quite a lot of travelling. We've got two chariot cards, ch uh, cards with chariots, the wheels, the higher arcana, the lower arcana, and the path is protected on the road ahead. So it says, look after family. We've got a Cancerian symbol there for family. This card is lovely for money. Taurians are very good at managing money and it's often called the sign of the banker and they're very good at managing other people's money so Taurians look at your investments now look at the uh, long-term effect with this reading because I've got uh, the, her the, the hermit card saying be wise about long-term investment try something new and different that's this card here the uh, star card so that's opening up new avenues all, all over the world so look at things according to the law Make sure you do things by the law of the land. That's the scales of justice, the sword of justice. And it's Libra, kind of a card, the scales, which is also another card, another planetary area ruled by the planet Venus. So Libra and Taurus come under uh, uh, the Venus ruling. In this, we've also got the Wheel of Fortune. So this card reading is saying that Taurians in general, let's say, are having... Uh, uh, now a fortunate turn of events and there's a blessing for the future and lots of other aspects that I can explain to you when I get your numbers and your uh, birth date and I can apply it directly to what's going to be pertinent to you in the next year ahead and it gets very interesting sometimes there are all sorts of things to look out for with a little devil in these cards a bit of mischief going on so we've got to find out when I'm doing the aspects which area that affects whether it's the travel area the family area or the business area or the career area so those are the things I look out for and when I do your reading Taurus I'll always think of you as the bull in the field contemplating what's been said and what's going to happen next and so on. Very reliable people. People uh, know that uh, you'll be there for them and you're as solid as a rock. You like to look after money and you like to build things for the future that have good value. So that's what I'm going to tell you about Taurus and tarot card reading today. And then I'm going to do Virgo next. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Dale. OK. Have your tarot read the Dale Jackson way? So that's PayPal, the Dale Jackson way at virginmedia.com. And the same address for any other inquiry. Video produced by Chris Summerfield Media.